In game announcements, IDW has revealed that they are partnering with Atari to publish a series of board games based on classic Atari games. Mm. So far, they have announced Centipedes is going to be the first one in September, and will be followed by Asteroids and Missile Command. Uh, we don't know much about these games, but we do know that John Gilmore, who worked on Dead of Winter and other Plaid Hat titles, is going to be working on as designer of these games, which is probably a good sign, a good place to start. Uh, but we, ha we, we haven't really seen many games based on classic kind of arcade-style games, at least not directly. Yeah. The, ones, the one that I was thinking of is uh, Battle at Kemble's Cascade. I was Cascade. literally going to say, because like, <laughs> I felt like in my head that it has the centipede Exactly. Scrolling mechanic. Yeah, or like it's, it's sort of like Galaga. Right. Uh, but it, and I, I think that game was pretty successful for what it set out to do. I actually I liked a lot of things about it. So I do think that there could be something good coming out of this. Probably. I don't know if Centipede I mean, any of the I, like I never I did not have an Atari. I think we were we were not born in that generation. But uh, any any uh, like games like these classic games like maybe you've played somewhere here and there. Like, I've played, you know, Asteroids Missile Command. Yeah, I mean, I've played them and just... That you think maybe somehow would translate. Well, the weird thing is, when I think of them, you know, it's sort of the, hey, I got a quarter, uh, there's an arcade, I'm going to play it. You right. know? <laughs> but when you say board game, you, mostly I think of, oh, hey, I'm going to go with, with Jonathan and Neil and play together. The, like, these are, you think of just the nice single player not thinking. Then, True. So I'm very curious, like, are we all going to be in there together? Are we all fighting Centipede? Or I are they all single so. player games? I think both of them would be reasonable uh, choices. I don't know how they design them. I hope that there is a solo mode. I'm thinking they definitely will be multiplayer because they have that, they want to sell these to the mainstream. Right. Say this is an Atari board game. Remember their childhood? Buy it in a box now. <laughs> um, so they definitely want that. Missile Command could be, I mean, there's, I think these concepts are so simple that you can almost expand them into anything. Right. Like centipede, well, you're a centipede. I think that's moving. part of the reason we're like, we've seen the, the scrolling mechanic we said in Palette Cascade, and we're like, all right, so what else is there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of interesting things that you could, different ways you could take those concepts. Mm -hmm. Asteroids, maybe the other players are asteroids. <laughs> dexterity game. Yeah, oh, that would make sense. That would be good, a dexterity game, yeah. I just hope that they come out with an E.T. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> for a game, right? Wait, well, you get to actually bury it. <laughs> <laughs> or what's the one, um, is it called Pitfall? Where it's like the famous, it's like one of the first platformers where you're jumping oh, from the ropes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's kind of hard to make it to a board <laughs> it, game. It'd just be the Jar Jar Binks game just reskinned. <laughs> oh, man. This is the Jar Jar Binks callback <laughs> episode. Yeah, so I don't know if there's any classic Atari games from your youth that you that you want. Well, to I see. think the one other thing, yeah. mentioned, just how curious the designer you mentioned, the game that you bring up is Dead of Winter. This is that one of the reasons we applaud Dead of Winter isn't the just for its game mechanics, so to speak. It's the story, the feeling that you're actually... I'm like, so are we going to be like... The centipedes have killed my entire family. <laughs> We're the last civilization left on Earth. Like he somehow just makes this amazing story. I really hope so. It's actually they all have crossroad cards. <laughs> that would be good. Maybe they maybe they connect. Maybe it's they're all part of one game. System. Then we get an Avengers movie or something with Atari games. <laughs> they could have done like an arcade box, and it's like there's five Atari games in one, and you can play them. Well, I think what they would be a good thing, an interesting thing to do, probably because it'd be cheap, would be because I know a portal comes a key for Portal 2 with it. So Portal they gave, the video the game. The board game. Oh, the Portal board, board game. game comes with a key for the video game. <laughs> right. So these should come with, like, keys for the video game. <laughs> Honestly, yes, they should. That's not a bad idea at all. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Maybe, maybe next they'll partner with, I don't know, Sega? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, IDW's licenses have been very hit or miss. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's, at least they, they got someone good on board, so it's, that, that gives us good hope for it. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week, so please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.